follow us through the journey. The Virgin Islands are broken up into three sub-islands, St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Croix. We are located in St. John, so let's keep learning. The Virgin Islands were discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1493. He named the islands the Virgins. Later in 1917, U.S. Congress passed legislation to establish the Virgin Islands National Park. With the national flower being a yellow cedar, it creates beautiful scenery within the Virgin Islands. Fun fact, the green leaves were originally used for medicinal purposes. And the prickly pear cactus. But be careful when touching it because these tiny white hairs can afflict and irritate human skin if picked. Also, the red fig eating bat is the only native mammal to St. John and the Virgin Islands. They are considered to be important pollinators and dispersal agents for many species of fruit trees and shrubs. So once you get here, you might wonder what activity you can take part in, and we will be happy to show you. If you want to explore the beautiful waters of the Virgin Islands, feel free to go snorkeling, just like this girl here. Oh, hey! Francis Bay is the ideal place for beginner divers, and you will be able to see tons of juvenile fish, and maybe even a sea turtle if you're lucky. Well, awesome. Can we go get on that? Yeah, let's go. If you're looking for something to get your adrenaline rushing, visit the Tree Lemon Extreme Music Park for Zip Located in the tropical forest on St. Peter Mountain, you will be able to speed through a canopy tour at up to 35 miles per hour. Test your golfing skills by playing at the Mahogany Run Golf Course. Phew, that was fun, but I'm so tired now. I know, right? Hey, want to take a cruise on that yacht over there? Oh my god, let's go. If you're looking to do something more relaxing, why not take a cruise? Tons of visitors can use yachts like this to hop from island to island, so why not enjoy the view along the way?